in just about 10 minutes. Abby. All right, thanks, Joe. A 23 year old airman stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base is behind bars tonight, accused of killing his wife. Relatives say Anthony Garcia told them his wife shot herself, but detectives think otherwise. Danielle Lane Garcia's mother says a knock at her door at 1 o'clock Saturday morning changed their lives forever. Tina Savage says her son in law, who lives across the street from her in Knobnoster, was screaming, saying her daughter shot herself. While Savage didn't believe her 24 year old daughter took her own life, Investigators don't either. They think Danielle's husband, 23 year old Anthony Garcia, did it and took him into custody. I was calling 911 on the way over there. And when I walked into the house, the door was open and she was laying on the floor. And I knew right then and there that she wasn't alive no more. And we just thought that maybe uh, she shot herself in the leg or something like that, but she was shot in the head. Savage says she doesn't know what led her daughter's led to her daughter's death, but she hopes to get some answers sometime soon. For now, she says her primary concern is her eight month old granddaughter who will never know her mother. Danielle did put these pictures on her Facebook page. They were titled a girl with no mouth so she can't scream and a girl with no eyes so she can't cry. Friends say Garcia is a good man, but they also say the senior airman stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base was controlling. On January 31st, Danielle posted, quote, what am I, 12? Why do I have to ask for permission to leave my house? Anthony Garcia is charged with second degree murder and armed criminal action. He's currently being held on a $250,000 bond. Police are looking for a man they say robbed a metro gas station. This is video from the Phillips 66 at 6th and Wyandotte. Police say just before midnight, the man entered the store wearing a black Carhartt style jacket and rubber gloves. He pulled out a handgun and demanded money from the register. Police say he then made the employee go to the back of the store where he tried to access the store safe. They say he escaped out the front after making the employee go in the bathroom in the back of the store. This is a picture of the suspect. Police say the man is approximately five foot eight and in his 40s with a reddish overgrown goatee. Anyone with information is asked to call the tips hotline. Meantime, the Platte County Sheriff's Office needs your help finding the people they believe are responsible for breaking into cars. This is a surveillance photo of the two suspects, and this is a picture of what police think is the suspect's getaway car. It appears to be dark colored, possibly black, and a Ford Thunderbird. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Platte County Sheriff's Office at 816-858-3465 or the tips hotline. That number, 816-474-TIPS. We know more about the shooting death of an Independence woman. What police are saying about the suspects drinking the day of the crime. Cash strapped pet owners have a friend at a Platte County shelter. How it helps provide badly needed services. That's at 1014. A lot of wind across the area for today. We've got a lot going on weather wise. Blizzards, tornadoes, wind for us. Let's see what the rest of the work week holds. Fox 4 News at 10. We'll be right back.